Hi guys, this is John here. In today's lecture, we will look at how to take a 2D object and convert it into a 3D object using Paint 3D. Now, if you remember from our earlier lectures, we had looked at a simple method of how to convert this chair into a 3D model. If you remember, we had taken points A and B, extended it by the depth. Just a quick revision for you guys. We had taken points A and B, extended it by the depth, and we had connected all these points, and we had built this. If you remember this, that's what we had done. Now, how do we do this in Paint 3D? The method is similar, but not same. Paint 3D does most of the work for you. So we would go to 3D shapes, and you have a concept of a 3D doodle where we take a sharp edge doodle. Now the idea is very simple. You start with a point. So I'm just going to zoom in. So you start off by clicking on the first point here. You click on the next point that you want to convert into 3D. Then you come to the next point. You come to I. Then you come to H. Then you go to G. And then you keep clicking on all the points that you would like to convert into 3D. And you close at your first point A. Now once you do that, Paint converts this into 3D for you. And let's just change the color. Let's make it red for now. And now if you remember from our previous lectures, we can rotate this about different axes. And you just converted this 2D object, which is your chair, into a 3D object. Now you can increase the size, reduce it, reduce the height. You can keep playing around with it until you get your desired dimensions. So I hope this basic lecture was clear. Now you can take the different examples that we tried and convert them into 3D. Let's look at another example in a fresh canvas. So now let's take another example where I have this cube and I want to convert this into a 3D object. So I will choose my doodle, click on the first point, click on my second point, click on my third point, click on my fourth point and come back to my old starting point. And this converts it into a 3D model, which is a cube. Now I can increase this in size rotate this, I can increase this in width and you can keep playing around with this as we've seen from previous lectures. So this is a basic lecture on how to take a 2D object and convert it into 3D. We will be using this at certain places, but this is just a feature I thought you would like to know. So I hope that this lecture of converting 2D shapes into 3D shapes was clear. I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.